I will. I'm. I'm always going to have, you know, mental health struggles. You know, I've, you know, been on the border of being diagnosed with depression because of stuff that I've gone through, and um, something that I'll always be advocate for because now we're in a time and an age where it's okay to talk about your feelings. It's okay to um, be open and honest about how you're feeling. We're we're past that time where it should be big macho man oh no i'm okay i'm fine don't worry about it i'm okay i'm all good you don't have to be like that anymore yeah. you should be able to talk about it and clubs have support systems and you, and you mentioned jackie louder she was an external source that i reached out to yeah who has helped change my life like change yeah. my absolute life because i was ready to retire in 2018 and i was 24 turning 25 yeah. and for me to do that then and for her to be there for me and, and talk to me and and understand that the first um, thing you got to do to recognize this is actually well, like, actually recognize it and then talk to someone about it. Yeah, and you just feel so much better. So, yeah, something that I'll always have with me, but I find ways to deal with it. And believe me, believe me, and he knows more than anyone because commonly I talk to him about this. I still have my times where I struggle big time. Like, yeah. simple phone call to Josh, be like, mate, oh, I've I've called him before, sitting in my sauna. I remember I was just crying. I was like, mate, I'm just really struggling. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I can't yeah. explain yeah. to you. I'm just really struggling. Like. Yeah. I, I'm just, it's just hard. I need you, mate. Like I need you. He, he would just, you know, he just do his thing and make me feel okay. But it's just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just things that, yeah, I was always open and honest with. It's what quite, sort of your um, like it's interesting, and I appreciate the vulnerability ads, honestly. But and I'll jump into a few more things. Obviously, I did with Jackie, but yep. for you, what's what's interesting is obviously. Ads is, oh, you're not the only bloke that's getting phone calls from uh, from mates who are going through stuff like that. Like for you, how did you? I guess be a voice or, or an ear through that period because it's it's quite hard to, to balance obviously making sure he's okay but obviously trying to help him out as well yeah it's a it's actually a hard one to sort of talk about because you know i think it's more about myself as a person and i i care about everyone that i know and i build good relationships with everyone and obviously ads and i are really close so you want to be there for him as much as you can and it's shit because we live so far away from each other. I was like, <laughs> otherwise, we'd be at each other's house all the time. <laughs> yeah. But it is, I think it's really important to be there for your mates. And like as you mentioned, it is no, okay not to be okay. So you've yeah. got to be, you've always got to support each other. And whenever ads needs me, I'm always there. Yeah. I'm the first one that, you know, I'll call him if I know, if I get wind of him being sort of upset or something like that. So to understand the person themselves and then actually be there for them is really important.